the best bodybuilding physique in the world right now? Hey guys, even here, so Pittsburgh Pro 2022, they have a couple of videos and a couple of photos we're gonna take a look at, but basically what happened is Derek Lansford, the current 212 Mr. Olympia champion, absolutely rocked the world. This is one of the, if not the most impressive guest posing appearance ever. Look at this freaking thing right here. I made a couple of videos about Derek before. I think in my one of my previous videos I talked about how big he is actually. But honestly, was I expecting to see this on this stage? No, not really. I, I was really, I was, I was blown away when I saw this. This is absolutely insane. And this guy, I'm saying it right now, if he brings conditioning, he can win the Mr. Olympia in the Open. What you're wondering is probably, well, what if he just looks like this in the off-season? He is an impressive off-season bodybuilder, and he doesn't look that good on stage. Wasn't he this big before when he was competing in 212? Well, here's your answer. No, he wasn't. This is last year, nine weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and as you can see, yeah, he was prepping for Mr. Olympia, so he was in a little bit better shape, but how much better shape? He was a little bit more conditioned, but not too much. However, this year he added a lot of tissue, a lot of tissue, and I'm sure, I'm positive that this guy is going to switch to the Open. He's done with 212. He definitely should be done. Look at this freaking monster. Unfortunately, even a day later, I couldn't find any high-quality videos, but we have these videos from people's stories. And this is an interesting story also. Ian Valier basically admits that this is probably the best bodybuilding physique in the world right now. And Ian is very proud, man, and I don't think he would easily say something like this. If he thinks a 212 competitor is better than him, who is an open competitor, uh, he wouldn't say it. So he believes it. He thinks this. He thinks that this is probably the best bodybuilding physique in the world right now. So here you can see a couple of other shots, and he's very complete. That's the thing. He basically has no flaws. Pick a flaw. Tell me what he's lacking. There is nothing. The only body part that I would say could be better, and I'm not saying that he is lacking it, but the only body part that would uh, enhance his physique if it was bigger would be arms. So he's not lacking arms, he has huge arms as well. But if his lats grew anymore, it would look weird. If his legs were bigger, they would be too big. Chest and everything on the back just looks good. The arms also look amazing, he has huge arms too, but... Let's say they could be an inch bigger, and that's about it. He is as complete as it gets. The only question is how good will he look when he gets conditioned. Here is what Nick Walker looked at this uh, guest posing appearance. Uh, also really freaking impressive, really massive, but maybe not as impressive as Derek, because he doesn't have a, like, a tiny waist. His waist looks fine when he's conditioned, but in the off-season it looks really big, right? And yeah, Nick is very freaky, but uh, Derek has a small waist as well. And Nick was probably a little bit bigger, but it's not like he was he was dwarfing Derek, even though Derek is 212. They were looking pretty much evenly matched, though Nick has probably bigger arms. That's where he looks better, but everything else, it was the same or even a little bit better at Derek. Like, for example, back. Derek has better back. Um, Nick was also very good, very, very impressive. These two guys really impressed me. They made a hell of a show, I mean, hell of a guest posing. It also looks like Nick is making a lot of gains. He definitely looks uh, more impressive than he did last year. Uh, the back is the problem. It was at least last year, like the lower back, and it looks like he's improving. It looks better now. From the front, he looks as sick, as, as impressive as always. A little bit bigger this year. He is growing. And I hope he's going to work on the details, like in the lower back area and some other body parts. Um, Brandon Curry is like a bodybuilder that doesn't look very impressive in the offseason. He does look very impressive, though, when he's prepping, when he's shredded. And the shredded Brandon versus shredded Derek would be much closer than offseason Brandon versus 
offseason Derek and uh, you know Brandon has really small legs they look fine when they are conditioned but in the offseason they don't look very good in the side poses he also looked very good but not in crazy Hunter Labrada was in four weeks out shape he even dared to wear posing trunks instead of boxers like the other guys and he could he, he can do that because he's really conditioned like this is four weeks out basically nothing too crazy here pretty similar to last year's look uh, he's trying to stay conditioned like a little bit smaller so he doesn't uh, grow his waist too much and he needs to work on the details as he says and he needs to improve his lower back that's for sure there is a gap in that area and you can still see it this is guest posing but the back is the kind of muscle that uh, shows when you are conditioned in the off season you can't really see the changes that the guys make and right here on hunter on his back you can see that um, he didn't really improve that much not really like compare this back to Derek's back see what I'm saying this is what a good back looks like and also like the hamstrings the glutes like the entire leg size everything and this guy I think he smokes Hunter at least right now again I don't know how will this look when he gets conditioned but right now at this point in this time he looks way more impressive than anybody that stepped on this stage and if everything goes well if the prep goes well he can destroy everybody big Ramy was supposed to show at this guest posing but he didn't maybe he knew how good Derek Lansford looks and he didn't want to look worse than him I don't know but can Derek beat big Ramy well if his prep goes as well as his off season is going then yeah I can definitely see that with this kind of waistline with this kind of uh, aesthetics with this kind of crazy looking shape and completeness why not Tell me, guys, why do, why wouldn't you see this guy winning the Mr. Olympia? Wow, just wow. I really hope he comes conditioned. And if we're talking about the back improvements, take a look at uh, Nick Walker right here. So what do you think? Do you think he is making improvements? He needs to improve that back. And is it working? I think it is. I think he did make improvements. More than Hunter Labrada, I would say so. His back looks better. And now, how it will look when he gets conditioned? It's going to look much better actually this guy is also much more impressive when he is conditioned and he really knows how to come uh, gnarly grainy like shredded peeled uh, i don't know if he's gonna be able to do that without matt jansen now who is no longer his coach but if he does everything like he used to do before he does have potential to place higher at the next year's mr olympia but right now because of the waistline as it is the off season he can't look that good you know, not as good as Derek Lansford, but he does have a lot of muscle, probably more than, than Derek. I don't know how much these guys are weighing, but as you can see, Derek um, Derek looks better, for sure. If this was the show right here, well, maybe maybe Hunter would win it because he was so conditioned, but not really. I would give it to I would still give it to Derek because he looks so freaking impressive. Much bigger than the other guys, much better shape, really, really complete. I just don't see the reason why these guys are better than him. Nobody is more complete, period. And nobody is looking as freaky. Now, I'm repeating myself, but I have to say again, this is just the off-season. This is just guest posing. We'll see how will it look at the stage when he gets conditioned. Before, he had some issues coming shredded. Last year, however, he actually nailed the conditioning and he looked really good. He had a trouble area. Uh, it's the upper shoulder, upper chest area. He always looks pretty, so pretty soft in that area. But last year he was conditioned and I hope he can bring that conditioning maybe even a little bit better. And without trying to make the weight, he's going to look fresher, more full probably. And if he adds some size as he already did, that's going to be a sick package. So overall, one of the most impressive Pittsburgh Pro guest posings. These are really special always. Always the top dogs come and pose at this show. But this time it was different because of Derek Lansford. The 212 Mr. Olympia champion basically proved to the world that he can be better than everybody else. Every, every other bodybuilder in the open division or whoever. He just absolutely nailed this guest posing and I just can't wait to see him on Mr. Olympia open stage and uh, I honestly believe if he comes ready, he can win the Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this, subscribe guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye bye.